Hi everyone, I wanted to give you some information about using the Core Advantage Assessment online. So this video here will walk you through that process so that you understand how to sign in and how to put in all of your documentation notes um, for that authentic assessment assignment that goes with this. So you can see in front of you on the screen is the, um, the course site for Blackboard. You're going to need to click on the observation information link on the left here. When you get there, you're going to click into observation clarification. In that folder, you're going to find these core advantage instructions here, and then you're going to click into this PDF file here. Once you do that, you have your user instructions. What I would do is print these instructions out and that way you can have them next to you so that you can go step by step in the process of logging on and documenting your information. You're going to need to click on the login here and it's going to take you to this screen here, the login screen here. You want to click on this green rectangle that says sign in going to take you to another sign-in page. So click on the green login bar here. Once you do that, you're going to type in this following information. And this information is on that instruction sheet as well. You're not going to use a personal email or a personal password. You're going to use this email and password that I've provided. Everyone's going to be using the same email and the same password. So it's Harper Training at coreadvantage.com and then our password is COR123. Once you've entered that information, you're going to click login and then it's going to take you to our classroom site here. You're going to see on this page here that um, there are letters for each student that you will be assigned to. So to figure out which lettered student you are assigned to, you're going to go back to that Blackboard page, that um, folder with the observation information in it. You're going to scroll down and then you're going to see the letter student that you're assigned to. So make sure that you use this letter, these letters, for your login for that assignment. Okay, so once you have gone this far, you want to know how do I input my information. So to do that, you're going to come over here to the left hand side where it has a green rectangle that says new observation. You're going to click on that new observation. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to come all the way over to the right, the bottom right, where it has this little plus sign in the green circle. And you're going to click on that button there. And then you're going to click on Add Anecdote. Once you do that, you're going to see this empty square. And this is where your information is going to pop up. So where you're going to input the information is over here on the right. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this to add your caption which the caption is going to be your anecdotal notes. So you're going to type in the information that you're going to that you want to document about that child's development. Remember that you're going to be using those different areas from um, the core advantage, those high scope areas like approaches to learning, physical development, and so on. Those are what you're going to be using. Those areas that I talked about for your observation to help you with, those are the exact content areas that you're going to be um, inputting information for. So maybe I want to do um, an anecdotal note reflecting approaches to learning. So maybe while I did my observation, um, I watched a child in the planning process. So student um, during planning time shared that she wanted to create a castle in the block area. I later witnessed the child in the block area creating a castle using the unit blocks. Okay, so that's my anecdotal note. Make sure you're factual. You don't need to use the student's actual name. You can just write student. Um, and that way we keep that confidentiality. When you're done typing your anecdotal note, you can hit save. And then you can see it there. Um, and you can also put more detail in there as well. 
Then you're going to click on students. You can click on that pencil there. Scroll down, find whichever letters that apply to you, and you're going to click on that. I'm double X here, so I'm going to click on um, Mr. Crab there and hit save. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to click on this button that says tags. And then we need to tag it under the core advantage. So there they are. Remember that you have to input anecdotal notes for um, three different anecdotal notes for each of these sections. So I'm going to click on Approaches to Learning because that's where this observation goes. And I'm going to click on Initiative and Planning. Um, again, if you don't remember what the description of those different content areas are, they provide them here. Um, and you can also look in that information that I gave you earlier um, about the Core Advantage. If you go back here and come up, this here also gives some information about those core advantage areas. So again, um, approaches to learning, initiative and planning, planning, children make plans and follow through on their intentions. That's exactly what I just documented there. So I'm going to go in for initiative and planning. I'm going to click that box there so that I can check that I've done that. And then I'm going to go look at this rating scale and I'm going to click where this observation um, best fits in here. So again, child turns toward in a way an object or person. No, that's not what I observe. Child moves with persistence until reaching a desired object or person. No, these level zero and ones here, um, and even here too, child indicates an intention with one or two words. These are more appropriate for like infants and toddlers. And so since you are most likely um, observing preschool children, then most likely your check marks are going to fall within these level three and above um, marks. So again, child expresses a plan with a simple sentence and follows through. So guess what? That's exactly what I observe. So that's what I'm going to click and I'm going to hit save. So now I have that all taken care of. Now I'm just going to hit save here and then I'm ready to input another one. Whenever you're ready to input another anecdotal note, then you click on, um, I'm sorry, you click on this plus sign here, add anecdote, and do the process again. Um, whenever you're finished and you've saved these, then I can go into the same program and I can access it and look and see what you have written as well. So if you have any questions, if you get stuck, please feel free to reach out. I want to make sure that this is completely clear for you guys to do. Um, again, instructions are here. If you want to access the website, you know, another route, here's an, a link to the website as well. And then again, here are the letters that you'll be assigned so that you can match up the correct student for your, um, your anecdotal notes on that assessment. Um, so again, like I said, any questions, let me know. Just remember too, I want to mention this real quick. I'm going to go back to our syllabus click on that. This Core Advantage Online is not the only part of that authentic assessment assignment. So let's go all the way down. Okay, so authentic assessment assignment. So again, you are going to input that information. Remember, you're going to create a collection of anecdotal records for this child using the high school core to Organize and score your notes. You must collect at least three anecdotal records within each core area. Here's the categories here as well. Um, also, just remember, this um, category nine here, English language learning, only if appropriate. If your child was a second language learner and you observe things that really related to their development of um, the English language, then you can document that. If it did not apply, then do not worry about it. I, you have to do one through eight. Nine is um, only if it's appropriate. Once you're done inputting that information into the Core Advantage assessment online, um, then you need to ad address this. You have to have a, you need to make a summary of what these findings had to do with that child's development. Um, and here, in these NACI Standard D, um, you need to apply these two questions here to your findings of that developmental information. So again, 
think about what you're inputting. You know, how is all of this developmental information relating to the child? How is it helping the child? How are you seeing this child develop? What might you have to do based on what you're seeing? Um, how might you share this information? And what are the implications of this? So again, don't just stop with inputting the information into the Core Advantage online. Remember that you have to do this part as well to apply those um, anecdotal notes and that developmental information to this information here. So again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, and I look forward to seeing your assignments. Have a great day. Bye-bye.